Hi guys and welcome to the latest video. Today's video is going to be about dealing with the roller coaster that can be eBay sales. Now we've just come from a good run of a good few months, especially in the run up to Christmas, uh, where we've had consistent, um, very good sales, week on week, month on month. Um, and just recently, I think it was probably mid-December-ish, um, or, or the last week of the Christmas shopping period, since then our sales have really, really tanked. They've gone, uh, they've become very inconsistent, uh, where we've had days where we've had some sales and then we've had days with low sales and recently for example this week We've had multiple days where we've not sold a single item on our store and we've got quite a diverse inventory uh, Full of products for all pockets all price ranges um, And it's just suddenly just gone to pot as it were luckily for us We've been on eBay now for quite a few years. So this is not the first slowdown we've experienced and I thought it would be a good idea in the beginning of 2022 to share with you guys a couple of tips that Beck and I both try to, and the key is try <laughs> to follow, uh, because they do help and it's it's important to keep these in mind, uh, especially when you're feeling like you're having a bit of a slump. The first thing I want to talk about, um, and it's probably one of the most important things, is your feelings. Um, when you suddenly go from the highs of getting like, I don't know, like thousand pound weeks um, regularly and then you drop to less than half of that, for example, that can be quite an emotional shock and it's very natural to feel stressed, um, anxious, depending on how much you rely on your income from eBay. Um, in Beck and our case, this is our, eBay is our main source of income still. So when it tanks like this, it really does affect our finances and it can be very stressful now it's okay to be stressed it's okay to be anxious as long as you know that you're able to work your way out of it um, and calm yourself down uh, basically it's okay to get down just try not to stay down because that's going to have a big impact on your performance and what you can do to get through this kind of a patch the second thing we would say is to do what Rebecca is doing right now and that is to keep sourcing and listing product um, we have actually gone back to our massive stash of radio control car parts which may not be the most exciting or glamorous thing to list but we're getting those on there in massive amounts to keep the store moving it's really easy to source and list products when the sales are coming in thick and fast you're motivated to go out and do it it's much harder to keep investing in your business keep sourcing spending money on buying products and listing products when the money doesn't come in as quickly or when you're having a slow sale sales period and we've been caught in this in the past where slow sales have meant that like i've clammed up and i've just gone like really careful or stopped buying stock because i'm like money's not coming in i don't want to spend more money to buy stock but that is a really big mistake in my opinion i think you need to keep sourcing if you can um and if you do have a backlog that is definitely the time to be getting stock listed and listing becomes that much more difficult when um you know you're not seeing the the benefits so, as in you're not seeing the sales coming in it's really easy to list i find when sales are coming in because you're like wow stuff selling i better keep listing stuff selling um but it's the true test really is when it is slow when you're not getting loads of sales you're not getting any sales the whole day or you're getting one or two sales to then keep putting those uh, listings up no matter how many a day you you aim for as many as you can obviously is the best another thing that you can do and is definitely worth doing um is going over your existing work uh, definitely worth checking over listings that you've um, got up um, that have been listed for a while make sure you're still price competitive I mean bear in mind uh, on platforms like Amazon there are things like reprices which track the market and lower prices automatically for people um, that can work against you in those instances as well but it's definitely worth knowing that even on the used market um, on products you know there can be changes and fluctuations uh, in terms of demand for products so an item that you may have um, had listed at a, at a certain price a few months ago and yours didn't sell may have gone down in price and, and then 
you kind of your products is sat there on eBay at the higher price and you're going to struggle to sell it whereas if you had a more competitive price you might be able to sell it price is key as well so it's definitely worth just checking over your listings making sure all your things like item specifics are squared away maybe ch change photos try to change the front uh, the main photo add better quality photos if necessary all these little things you can do um you you can't force someone to go and click buy it now uh, you, you don't have any control over that but what you can do is give your products the best opportunity and there's lots of little things that you can do um, and, and I'm sure if you were to go into your inventory right now uh, you would find listings that you could in some way improve. The final uh, tip I suppose that um, I'd like to share with you guys is be prepared for the next slowdown. Just as you kind of are, are stuck in a slowdown and things are feeling awful and you're having to really work on yourself and stay motivated to to, to you know keep listing on the business, keep fresh stock coming onto the business and things might then improve for you and you'll have forgotten. It, it's very easy, human nature um, is very good at putting bad feelings and memories and burying them inside the, the back of your mind. So as soon as those cells start coming in, it's so easy to just forget what it was feeling like right now when your sales weren't good um, and, and and then you can fall prey to when it happens again because it will happen again um, just because you're not in a slowdown right now um, doesn't mean it's not going to happen it will happen every business has this and I think it's just human nature for people to just forget what's happened when it's not nice um, and just remember the good times people just have that tendency to do that so my final kind of advice or tip would be to uh, just be prepared for the next sl slowdown just because things are going swimmingly right now don't expect it to carry on forever um, don't let complacency uh, just fool you into thinking that's it now you've gotten through it it's plain sailing from now onwards because it will happen again and the more prepared you are for it the better um, there have been times in the past where we have really struggled with slowdowns and now honestly it's like water off a duck's back <laughs> you kind of just expect it and you know you're going to work through it that's the thing you have that confidence in your ability in your process uh, that you will work through it just because you're having a slowdown doesn't mean everything that you're doing is wrong it's just it's just part and parcel um of selling whether it's online or offline irrelevant it's just part and parcel of selling you get ups and downs those were my little tips i suppose for getting yourself through us eBay sales slump. I hope you found these useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any other tips that you'd like to add, put them in the comment section so other people can read them. Um, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.